glory to the Empire of India. We are in another Let's Play of Victoria 2 India. So guys, we're back. We're making a ton of money. The Russians are in trouble. Should I join the Russians? That's the question. Well, it's not really a question of do I want to join the rebel them or do I want to join them. It made no sense. I'm having a like fix it thing in the corner. So let's see. Russian Second Liberation of East Gossia. Let's see. No. And there's a reason why, guys. And it's not just because I don't want to enter the war, but I don't want this to become a great war. Because that's exactly what it would become. A great... I can easily get the... <laughs> the funny thing is that I can also get the alliance easily back. It isn't even like they're mad at us. It's just like, yeah, okay, so you guys betrayed us, but we'll instantly get the alliance back. We don't really care. Oh, yes. Okay, so... I think one of our friends, Galware, has just made the leap to being in my friends list. Please, please be in my friends list. You are not in my friends list, Gala! Ah! Dang it. I thought they were going to be in my friends list. Alright, we have massive... Oh yeah, I also have these troops that also are on kill levels. That's why they're coming in to go help. But anyways... Yeah. We did have a massive amount of money. I think... I think I'm having massive amounts of... Oh my goodness. We're going to have to... I think... Let's see. How much... Oh my goodness! That is a lot... Wait, would this help if I just did that? Would that help the inflation a lot, or would that actually cease to make us even more unproductive? So I'm losing a lot doing this. Oh no, we are just... Ouch. Okay, so we're just... Okay, so we're just gonna have to start killing some of these factories. And Bilhor... Let's see, let's start by name. No. Assam, Bilhor... This one right here, kill it. This is costing us too much money. We're gonna have to start killing some of these because these are way too expensive. Um, explosive factory, explosive factory, killing regular. Okay, let's see. Two in the south, explosive factory and regular close factory in the South Bengal region. I can sort by that easily. South Bengal. I'm just gonna have to start supporting it. Cause that's just way too much money I'm losing. Yeah, you see, this is... That's not profitable at that point. Just delete it. That is way too much money. Are the, are the Russians getting attacked really again? Oh my goodness, Russia, you just do not have a good day today. Joining against China, though. Shoot. Shoot. I'm kind of in an economic crisis. Like, legitly, I'm in an economic crisis right now, Russia. It's not really the best time to be bringing in your call to ally, Mark. I mean, I love the fact you like me and all, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm not like a stable nation right now. We're kind of in our own little jam, but why not? Let's do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I make way too many impulsive decisions. But you know what? This is the best impulsive decision. Because it's the one I chose. Alright. You better not let any of them in, by the way, Mongolia. I'm being serious. If you let any of them in, we are doomed to die. Okay. So. While we get more into debt. More into debt. Oh my goodness. Taxing my, my rich actually helped me out a lot. That makes me feel kind of sad. <laughs> okay. They're turning the sights away from me, so I'm going to use this time to basically go and invade. I'm going to keep some army back just in case. You guys go right there. Okay. You guys go right there. 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 Um. Anything else? You guys. Basically stay right there until I get a bigger force to come help you. Because I already know from like... Looking at this, this is probably gonna be a pretty god province. Alright, let's go! Yay! Great war status, I love great war status. Oh shoot, what are you guys doing? No. Okay, we're slightly making money off of this great war. 
which is good. If we could like make China sub sub servant to us, that'd be nice. <laughs> like that'd be severely intently nice. And I'm thinking what I think I'm gonna do in this war is I'm gonna make the nation of Gunzai from it. But we're gonna see about that. Right now, let's see. How is Russia doing over here? They're doing okay. With me actually joining the war, I think this will vastly vastly improve their blah, chances. Plus, I'm also going to have troops that actually can fight. Okay, so let me go send these guys over here to do a kind of land invasion of China. I don't think they're going to be that hard. Okay, most of China's troops are being concentrated on taking over. Move. Move, guys, move. We're going to have to move very, very quick. Okay. Because most of China's troops are over here dealing with that. Ah, oh, dang it. Mongolia, why did you betray me? Okay. So, Mongolia, you guys are going to give me military access. Oh, this country's... No. Military access, not give them... Mil I will allow to be in your country. Greetings. You guys gave, you guys gave me military access. Good. Okay, I'm going to move some soldiers into defensive positions around my encampments because I already know what's gonna happen Chinese are gonna use the advantage of what they have against me so I'm gonna send some troops over there in the north to go I didn't, man it's a good thing I was preparing for this um I'm gonna go send some troops over there in the north to go help fight this this threat Cause this is a threat like this is definitely a threat guys if any of you guys think it's not a threat please raise your hand now Cause this is a definite threat we have Chinese forces moving in on the Wazoo. We have major, major... This this is the war we wanted. This is definitely the war we wanted. And you know what? We're getting the war we wanted. Okay. By the way, are they caught into any battles? Shoot. I didn't actually know they actually have a fleet. Well, that's scary to note. Um. Okay, I'm keeping my troops right there. Um... Chinese moving in a little bit. Move in. Move in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hold down that front. That kind of stinks. <laughs> that kind of stinks. All right. Ah, Burma's not in this war either. Call ally. Very likely. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna add. <laughs> I know you guys think, why are you adding Burma? Well, Burma would help us a lot in this war. So they would help us fill in some of this gap. So, like, see you guys one second. Okay, that might actually be the end of an episode, but I'm not entirely sure, so... There we go. And now we are back in this episode of awesomeness. Well, not really awesomeness. Just more of, oh shoot, we're about to fight against a major power, and we're hopefully not going to lose. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the really where we're at. Like, it's not even, like, frankly, we have to be scared. I mean, I'm not scared of Germany. I hate you. Oh yeah, I completely forgot that. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, so Russia, I'm, I'm basically gonna, Russia's gonna have to deal with whatever they're gonna have to deal with over here. And due to whatever they're gonna have to deal with over there, I became bigger than they are. So I'm calling in some of my allies, which is what we need to do. We are the war leader. Well, I call in Burma. Oh, can I only call in my puppets? Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> wish it was a war goal to, like, make China my puppet. That'd be a great war goal right there. Just, like, gain all of China as my power puppet. It's like, yes. Okay, so we got some... Oh, dang. See, it's so hard to tell if we're winning now. Because I have to worry about Mongolia. Mongolia is going to be a scary, scary person to deal with. And all this is going to be scary to deal with once they actually come after me, but they aren't coming after me, so I'm not dealing with it. So I'm also going to control the movement of Burma, because I actually do need to use their troops to go pound the heads of the enemies. Um, over here, I think it'd be safe to use this right here, because this is actually a safe province. Like, if you guys know, this is going to be a safe province from anywhere. Okay, and the Philippines somehow formed. Wow! 
That usually never happens in almost any of my Let's Plays. Holy shoot. Uh, let's go like this. Because I really don't want... I really don't want to fight any of China's fleets. Because we actually don't have that powerful of a fleet. And it's also carrying very valuable men. Let's just try to sneak past China's obvious hatred towards us. Go to the coast. Let's see, coast of 26. Any way I can escape that. 29. This I should be able to escape. I should be able to escape this. 27. Dang it! Okay. Get off the boats right now. You have three days before they arrive. 25, 26. Ah, oh, dang. Hurry, guys. Hurry. 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 We just won the Battle of Kindling. Let me see. Okay, good. We're winning that battle. Um, Burmanese troops are sweeping in. It's a good sign. Um, for some reason, they only have 12. That's not good. Um, okay, you guys can move right there. You guys can stop moving there. Move right there. Um, you guys move right there. What are you guys doing? Ah, shoot. Yeah, we're gonna have to go kill these guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is this is a hard front to guard. Seriously, like I'm not I'm not literally joking to you guys. It's a hard front to guard because I have to deal with so much of the fronts. My army's just not like big enough. Okay, let's hope that let's hope that my ships can get. Yes. Okay, we landed just before we died. That's all I wanted to make sure is that we landed just before we died. Okay, you guys can kill as many as you guys want. I don't care. Okay, and then to get gas attacks, I think we need... Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't even care about gas attacks right now. That was a major victory right there. It was a psychic victory, but it was a major victory nonetheless. Okay. You guys. Burma. I'm going to command your units. Because I need you guys to be underneath my control. So I can easily dictate where you guys want me to go. Yeah, that's not going to work. You guys are all moving towards one spot. If you guys could all just sit still for a second. Combine you guys all into one super duper troop. Um, I'm going to move you guys right here so that we can have a good... Kind of good balance. Yeah, because then... No... Yeah, I guess moving, but that may overextend us. I don't know. Over here, though, we can move down and go kill these guys. <laughs> okay, we have absolutely... You know what? I better do this now. I hate doing it, and I know I hate doing it, but I'm just going to have to do it. Mobilizing is just what's going to have to happen. These guys are a little bit way too powerful for us to fight on our own. And I'm, 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 I'm really, like, guys, I'm seriously just dodging the inevitable fact that we're going to have to fight these guys to the bitter end. To preserve our freedom, we're going to have to fight these guys to the bitter end. Okay. We have more troops moving into that position to kind of fortify them. That's good. Um. Ah, oh, dang. We have just a powerful... Russia is sending most of its forces to go guard this front, which is understandable. Because that's the front they need to be winning at. I mean, the fight in the Russian Empire, for peace sake, that's a pretty big, you know, ooh, shoot. I don't think these guys like to form it. Oh, they would? Yes! Okay. Alright. Our military alliance is secure. Now, I'm the war leader. At least for now. So let me just do, wait a couple days. Oh yeah, we should also be watching our front. Cause it's it's not like I can wait a couple days and hope that everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna do an outside view. Okay, that's scary. Send troops to go deal with that. Other troops go deal with that. Jinting. Okay, wait, am I moving? Yeah, you guys, uh, go like right here. I don't think we're going to be able to make it through there. 
Just protect our land. That's the only thing I'm worried about. The Russians are helping out as much as they can. They're keeping... I'm keeping a semi-balanced front right here, which is good. You need to be doing. Okay. So, but yeah, I am the war leader right now. That means I can call France into this. And France... Okay, give me a second. When am I going to get a diplomat? When am I going to get a diplomat? March 2nd. Okay. I'm not going to watch the war front until... I'm not going to... Oh, shoot. We need you guys to go actually right here. I need you guys to quickly go down here and go help my men. That I completely forgot about. Okay. You guys, why did you guys not split up? Split up. Split up. Okay, half of you guys go down here. We're gonna go use these guys to go conquer the rest of this. Gonna use these guys to go conquer this. Okay. I think we're stable on that front. I think though, guys. I'm not I'm playing this by rough year. So I don't think we're gonna be doing good until the French join us. Second, third. Okay. Now we got this. France! We are not the leader of this war and cannot call. Oh my goodness. Can I start adding war goals? Dang. <laughs> I was hoping I could add some war goals here, but I can't. So, I guess not. Oh my goodness, that is a terrible battle. Okay. We got forces spreading thin on a lot of fronts. Oh man. There's just so much of China you have to guard. I don't think I have the forces for it. Oh dang. Hey! Uh... What country is that here? Siam! They would not offer military me. They would not give me military alliance, would they? Hmm. Wait, like maybe... Wait. That's not China. Yeah, there we go. Um, maybe... Wait, wait, we only need these guys. Moon Ping, I need military access now. No. Okay, never mind. They will not give me military access, so yeah, these troops are not going to be able to group up with these troops. Oh man, that's really sad. So right now, we are in a de- We're not in a desperate situation. I'm just trying to figure out where the troops- The troops are mainly coming from the north, I can always see that. They're mainly coming from the north. Now I'm fighting them as much as hard as I can, but it's also kind of exhausting doing this. Okay. Let's send some more troops over here. Send them right over there. See, I hate when I hate when they come in like these nice packages right here, because it actually makes it harder to mobilize them. So it's like, oh shoot, now I have to like organize this. Okay, you guys. You guys will be on kill as many rebels as you can duty. We want to make sure that we do not die here. Okay, go. You don't want to make sure. I'm basically saying we don't want to lose our empire power. Okay, these guys should be able to reach them just in. They're coming after my front at a pretty rapid pace. I have pretty defended fronts. Okay. After this, I'm going to go send these guys down here. Okay. I think I got what I'm going to do. Keep moving these guys up. I think these guys will barely reach my troops in time. So that we'll be able to turn the tide of that battle. Okay. And then there's lots of things going wrong up there. Okay. And we're doing our best to go and try to cover them. Doesn't look like they're coming up from the north anymore. So I'm going to move some of my troops to go help some of these guys. Um, how is Russia over here? I think Russia's doing okay. Yeah, Russia's doing okay. They're doing fine over here. Um, how are they doing on the eastern front? Yeesh. Not so good. We're basically losing. Um... Chinese don't dramatic federation, dang. Uh, but I thought I could use the French alliance. Dang it! 
Oh, that stinks. That just so stinks. Cause I could, if I could use that right now, we would be in. Uh, why do you have to be the war leader? Okay, you guys quickly go. Go, 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 go. The Battle of the Dubai. Oh, shoot. Did they actually attack my colony? Yes, they did, and they overswarmed it. Shoot, well, that stinks. Gee willikers, that stinks. Okay, so I don't have that colony anymore. I'm gonna have to split up these guys. It's now they're becoming way too big. Okay, you guys go this way. We need some more troops on that front. Okay, I got this now in balance. That means we should be able to win against those troops. Which means China will basically lose all their colonies over here. Which means then we can start focusing on this front again. Um, but they're losing a lot. Like, severely a lot. I mean, I'm not exactly winning every single battle, I'm not going to deny that, but they're losing a lot of troops trying to kill off our mine. And it's not exactly helping them at all. Because I, like I said, they may win, win, booyah. Okay, this was the battle I was most important about. Crush them right now, we need to destroy them out. But like I was saying earlier, um, ooh. We are going to have to make a strategic retreat. But what I'm going to try to do is get to Nana before that happens so that we can basically have this whole entire play. What are you guys doing? Go back to here. Actually, you guys go right there. That's actually a good move because we actually need to, like, guard our places a little bit more. Okay, you guys go right there. Okay. Okay, I'm, ma I'm waiting for the massive hordes of... See, this is where Russia is right now. And this is where Russia is right now. Not exactly powerful right now, Russia. I'm helping you guys win an entire war. As you guys can do is help me. Oh, and I can actually add war goals! This time, guys, I can actually add war goals. So, we lack a lack of justification of this. Gunzai. We need to do a Gunzai uh, release cores provinces, whatever you want to say. We need to release that country outright. So there. That gave us a couple good infamy points, but we are actually doing this for a good cause. Okay. You guys right here, you guys will move right there to protect this province. You guys will go back to my place and heal up. You guys over here will kick out those guys. Um, you guys all around these fronts and these battles, I'm reinforcing you guys slowly. So we should be fine there. Um, this, this is just going to turn into a bad battle for them. So I'm also sending in all these shoot more men. Ah, 